Have you ever felt stuck in the past, unable to move forward? Welcome to the world of the rearview mirror syndrome. Imagine driving your life's car, but instead of focusing on the road ahead, you're constantly looking in the rearview mirror. It's like being in a perpetual state of reverse, where past events, painful relationships, and missteps dominate your present view. This syndrome is a psychological trap, a relentless echo of the past that reverberates in your mind. It's the trauma that refuses to fade, the old love that still stings, or the mistake that you can't seem to shake off. These experiences, while all part of life's journey, can leave deep emotional scars. And when these scars are not properly healed, they can trap you in a cycle of constant reflection. Now, reflection in itself is not a bad thing. It helps us understand our experiences, learn from them, and hopefully grow. But when it becomes obsessive, when it's all about what could have been, what should have been, or what went wrong, it turns into a quagmire of guilt, regret, and resentment. It's like a broken record that keeps playing the same sad song over and over again. The rearview mirror syndrome is not about learning from the past, it's about being chained to it. It's about replaying the same scene, reliving the same pain, and rehashing the same old mistakes. It's about being stuck in a time warp where the present loses its relevance and the future seems like a distant dream. However, the worst part of this syndrome is not just the constant dwelling on the past, it's the collateral damage it inflicts on your self-esteem. Each time you relive a past failure, each time you re-experience a past heartbreak, each time you re-evaluate a past decision, you chip away at your self-confidence, your self-worth, and your belief in your ability to shape your future. When you look so much at the past, it paralyzes your present. So, the question is, how do we break free from this trap? How do we stop looking in the rearview mirror and start focusing on the road ahead? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the effects of the rearview mirror syndrome and how to overcome it. Let's delve deeper into how the rearview mirror syndrome affects you. Picture this, you're driving your life's vehicle, but your eyes are constantly fixed on the rearview mirror. You're so focused on the past that you're missing the road ahead. One of the ways this syndrome manifests is through an obsession over past relationships. You become stuck in a loop of could-haves and should-haves, constantly replaying the scenes of heartbreak and disappointment. This fixation doesn't allow you to move on, to heal, and to open yourself up to new, healthier relationships. Another aspect of the rearview mirror syndrome is dwelling on past mistakes. The guilt, shame, and regret become your constant companions, making you feel like you're forever tied to those moments of missteps. This obsession doesn't allow you to forgive yourself, to learn from those mistakes, and to make better decisions in the future. Lastly, you may be comparing your present self to older versions of you. If you feel like you've taken a step back in terms of personal achievements, skills, or emotional well-being, it's easy to fall into a trap of constant comparison. This habit can lead to feelings of inadequacy or frustration, preventing you from appreciating your current progress and personal growth. The rearview mirror syndrome is a deceptive trap. It promises wisdom and insight, but all it delivers is a distorted view of reality. It makes you believe that the past holds all the answers, when in fact, it's the present that shapes your future. The trap of the past can make it hard for you to appreciate your present and look forward to the future. Remember, you're not defined by your past. Your past may shape you, but it doesn't have to confine you. So let's shift our focus from the rearview mirror to the road ahead. Life is happening right here, right now. And you're the one in the driver's seat with the power to steer your life in the direction you want to go. Rearview mirror syndrome doesn't just keep you stuck in the past, it also chips away at your self-esteem. Every time we dwell on past mistakes, we're feeding feelings of guilt. Guilt is like a heavy stone we carry around, burdening our hearts and minds, making it difficult to see the good in our present and future. It's a constant reminder of our perceived failures, preventing us from recognizing our worth. When we're stuck in this cycle, self-criticism often follows. We judge ourselves harshly, focusing on the missteps rather than the growth they fostered. This self-criticism can be intense, making us believe we're not good enough, we're a failure. But remember, everyone stumbles. It's part of being human. The key is to learn, grow, and not let these stumbles define us. Then comes the lack of self-forgiveness. This is where we punish ourselves for past mistakes, replaying them over and over. It's a punishing cycle that leaves us feeling unworthy, fostering self-rejection. But we need to remember, we are all works in progress. We all make mistakes, 
Forgiving ourselves is an essential step towards healing and moving forward. And let's not forget the constant comparison to our past selves. It's easy to look back and think, I was better then, or I failed compared to who I used to be. But life isn't a straight line. There are peaks and valleys, and sometimes the valleys help us appreciate the peaks even more. It's unfair to compare our present selves to a past version without recognizing the journey we've taken and the growth we've experienced. Being stuck in the past, feeling stagnant, can make us feel trapped, like we're not progressing. This sense of stagnation can lead to feelings of hopelessness, further eroding our self-esteem. Being overly critical of your past self can make you feel like you're not good enough in the present. It's vital to remember that our past does not define us. Our mistakes and struggles are just parts of our journey, not the entirety of who we are. We are more than our past. We are our present and our future. So, you're stuck in the past and it's affecting your self-esteem, but it doesn't have to stay that way. It's time to shift gears and learn how to overcome the rearview mirror syndrome. Firstly, start practicing self-compassion. Instead of being your own harshest critic, be your own best friend. Acknowledge your past mistakes but also recognize the growth that has come out of those experiences. Secondly, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Therapists and counselors are trained to help you navigate through these feelings and can provide tools and strategies to deal with them effectively. Finally, focus on your personal growth, not your past mistakes. Every day is a new opportunity to learn, grow, and improve. Celebrate your progress no matter how small. Remember, the past is a place of reference, not a place of residence. It's time to move forward. Let's use the rearview mirror for what it's designed for, to glance back occasionally, but keep your main focus on the road ahead.